So to start, uh, I'm gonna ask what is the most expensive item. Now we should wait. So it um, connects to the database, read the schema, and then ask the LLM to convert this to SQL. And as you can see, it gave us a, a small query that is going through the items table, ordering them by price, and then just get the first one. As you can see, it's like descending. So that's completely true. Hey everyone, Nariman here, welcome to my channel. Today we want to implement a very simple text to SQL converter using Olama's DeepSeq model. So since LLMs became popular, one of their main usage is to help programmers to write code, fix bugs, fix errors. And this is possible using any programming language that you want, any technology, let's say SQL queries, Elasticsearch queries. But if you want help in SQL generation, you need to provide all the necessary information. You need to say, I have this table with these fields and these types. Then I have another table with all this information. And then I need a query to do this or do that. So providing all this information every time that you need help with SQL generation is not that pleasant. So today we want to create a very simple text to SQL conversion tool, which connects to your database, reads all the schemas. So now it knows all the information that it needs about your data. And then we are gonna create a simple UI so you can just ask any information that you want and then it will give you the right SQL query for it. And to do this, I'm gonna use a Streamlit library to create a very simple UI for our application. And since we are using DeepSeq and it's one of the open source models that are available through Olama, I'm gonna use Langchain dependencies like Langchain Olama to connect to it and talk with it. And at the end, I'm gonna use SQL Alchemy to be able to connect to my database and get all the necessary information. So if you want to install all these dependencies, you need to go to the terminal yeah, here notice that I'm already in my projects directory. Then you can just say pip install dash r requirements.txt and it will install all these dependencies for you. And you need to also make sure that you already installed uh, Olama on your local machine. And then you need to also pull the DeepSeq model. You need to write Olama pull DeepSeq then dash R1, and then there will be a colon, and you can choose between different parameters like 8B, 14B. The bigger the model, the more powerful it is, but it needs uh, your local machine to be a stronger. For this use case, I'm using 8B. So you can also pull that and see how it will work on your laptop or your personal computer. I already pulled this model, so I don't, have to do this right now, but please make sure to do this before start writing code. Now we can go back to our IDE. So I already created a simple structure for our project. One of the most important things is your database connection URL. So if you want to connect this application to your existing database and then ask questions about it, you need to provide the valid uh, database URL here. I'm just gonna use a test database from SQLite, which is just a simple file here, as you can see, testdb.sqlite. I added a few tables in there. It has users table, orders table, and items table with some basic fields and some test data. And as I mentioned to you, our model will be an Olama model, which is DeepSeq R1. So I'm defining it here. So we are going to do a bunch of stuff. The most important thing is at first when it's, the application is running, we need to connect to our database, fetch all the necessary schemas, and then put it in some kind of machine readable format. And then every time that the user is asking some question, 
we are going to pass it here along with the schema and then we are asking the LLM that you need to convert this text to a valid SQL query. So we are going to say this is the user's query in like human language and this is our database schema just converted to SQL. I created already a prompt template for it is saying that you are a SQL generator when we are giving you an schema and the user question you must just output only the SQL nothing else no explanation is needed and then I'm gonna pass the schema here I'm gonna pass the user question here and I'm gonna get the output only in SQL okay then with all these uh, explanations we are ready to start coding first we need to import SQL alchemy I'm gonna import the create engine method and also the inspect we need to create an engine with our database URL so we can connect to it and then there will be an inspector on top of this engine that will help us to get the information that we need. I'm gonna call this inspector. Let's define a dictionary here called the schema. This will hold all the information about the schema of our da database. And this inspector can, for example, give us table names. We can start from there. I'm gonna say for table in inspector.get table names. We are here. Now that we have our table, we can go ahead and get all of our columns. So there will be inspector that get columns and I'm gonna pass the table. This is gonna be our columns. So now inside this schema, I'm gonna say table name should be a list of all the column names like all name for call in columns so as you can see for each entry in our dictionary which is a table name I'm gonna have a list of all the column names you can make this much more complicated with more information like for example the column types I'm going to keep this uh, showcase as simple as possible. So this is enough for me telling the LLM that, OK, I have this table and it has all these columns. And then I'm going to return this uh, schema. But we can do one more thing and we can make it more machine readable. I'm going to create a JSON out of this schema, which is a dictionary. All I need to do is uh, Go here, import JSON, and then I'm going to get a JSON dump out of this dictionary. So this will be my schema in JSON format. Now that we have our schema, we need to, whenever we are receiving a question from the user, we need to pass the question and pass the schema to this prompt template that I showed you and then ask LLM to create the SQL for us. For this, I'm going to use Langchain's uh, chat prompt template. In the Langchain core, there is a part called prompts. And then here you have chat prompt template. I'm gonna copy that so it has a method yeah this one from template and then if you remember we had a template already here so this will be my prompt and then if you also remember we had our model defined here 
our deep sync model. I'm gonna create a chain out of this with the pipe, with the pipe, and then our model. And all I need is to invoke this chain and then pass all the parameters here as a dictionary. So for example, query will be this query parameter that I showed you. And then also the schema would be the schema that we are passing to this method. But there is a, a small problem here that DeepSeq is a reasoning model and it's always thinking before answering you. So it will generate like this big text inside a HTML or XML tag, which is called think. And I want to remove that because I just want to show the user the SQL query. So I created a simple method called clean text, which gets the text, then use a regular expression and remove everything in between think tags and then just strips it out of white spaces which is leading or trailing and then give you just a clean text which is the answer of the LLM. So I'm gonna call this on the answer just in order to get only the answer. And this is it, very simple, our logic is done. All we need to do now is to create a simple UI using a streamlet. I'm gonna import it as a st. So first what we are gonna do when the application is started, first I'm gonna just extract the schema and store it in a variable. Then I'm gonna ask the user there will be a text area and I'm going to say describe the yeah describe the data you want to retrieve from the database that's good enough so when the user described what it wants this will be the user query I'm going to check if the user entered any query, then it's very simple. I'm going to call to SQL query with the user's query and the schema. And this will give me the SQL itself. And then a streamlit also has this nice uh, code method that will help you to write a block of code. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pass this SQL to be shown. I'm going to also put the wrap lines as true. So we don't just get a huge line that we need to scroll. And also we can specify the language, which is now SQL. And that's it. Our simple text to SQL generator is ready to be tested. Let's go to the terminal and to run it, I just need to say a stream lit run text to SQL.py. Let's just run it. This will open a window in our browser. Let's go to our browser. And yeah, as you can see, very simple UI is just saying, describe the data that you want to retrieve from the database. As I told you, my test database contains uh, tables of users, which has name and then orders. So each user can have many orders. Then I have order, which has like items and the status. And each order can have many items. And of course, item has like name, price. So to start, uh, I'm gonna ask what is the most expensive item? Now we should wait. 
So it um, connects to the database, read the schema, and then ask the LLM to convert this to SQL. And as you can see, it gave us a, a small query that is going through the items table, ordering them by price, and then just get the first one. As you can see, it's like descending. So that's completely true. And to just uh, ask for a more complicated query, I'm going to ask something that needs some join maybe. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to say what are the orders that have the status as delivered and their combined items costs more than 100 that is a complicated query so let's see what would be the result so perfect the answer is ready let's have a look so it's filtering by the status which is already correct and it's also checking the sum of the prices of items for each order this part is also correct and it's also showing the id status and the total value of the items for each order to the user so perfect the query again looks correct to me so if you run this it will probably give you all the orders with the status delivered that the total order value is also exceeding 100 the only drawback that i see is that not it's not perfectly optimized it's like uh, it has like two different sub queries also running and they look also identical so probably if you use a more powerful deep seek model like 14b you would get much better results or if you use like i don't know chat gpt cloud but the idea would still stay the same so you are getting as much as information from your database like your schema file what are the table names what are their relationships what are the column types and then with each uh prompt that you are sending to the LLM, you are also sending the schema and then you are asking for only the converted SQL query. You can also get a little bit more creative and then instead of just showing the query here, you can run it through SQL Alchemy and through your database, get the result and show it here as a table. You can just like write uh, in human language and then get the result set directly from the database this way. I just didn't want to make it more complicated and also sometimes you need to review the query first, make some changes because like sometimes as you can see, it's not that performant or even it's wrong. So probably with the current state of the AI models, it's still not that optimal to use it that way. So yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gave you some ideas on how to convert human language to SQL. Please like this video and also subscribe me for more content like this. See you around.